Uh, but the thing is, see how I'm dressed in pink? I had a doll. I played with dolls. I'm dressed in pink because my parents didn't care. They, I don't know, whatever. The doll dressed in pink. They didn't. It didn't matter, right? Well, that says something probably in some ways about my personality. Like I don't care about things, and so that's kind of what you want in someone who's teaching a class on race and ethnic relations. You don't want them to be all uptight about stuff. You want them to feel like they don't. It doesn't really matter to them what people think of them. And so that just makes, that makes for a much more entertaining course, right? It's going to be more interesting because you, you're going to talk about real things, right? Because if I'm afraid of being judged by you or anybody else, then I'm going to be really closed off behind my wall and I'm going to make sure I say things that are politically correct or whatever the case is. And I'm not really like that. So I still dress in pink. And I was dressing in pink back in the day. So, uh, so what do you need to know about me? Um, first off, so my dad, he actually died when I was nine. So then I largely, my mom was working all the time. I, I really raised myself. And so I started, I, I, uh, yeah, I raised myself. I mean, I really, really was hugely responsible for my reality. Like I came home from school, I made, I did everything, you know? So, uh, and it was good. I learned, I was very independent. I became very independent. And it's kind of a nice thing. So, you know, those are those things. Like the good can lead, the bad can lead to the good and the good to the bad. And it's all perfect, right? Um, the design. Uh, I, didn't take, I didn't take school very seriously. Ever really, I read a lot. I always read a lot. Even as, a, as an infant, I read all the time. But I didn't take school seriously. I just didn't care about grades. And especially after my dad died, I didn't care about grades. So, um, I discovered marijuana when I was 12. That's a cool thing. And uh, so that was, uh, that probably kept me going because then learning was really interesting because I, you know, I could take a journey and, well, school was more interesting because, you know, even though it might have been boring or whatever, it wasn't boring for me. And uh, so um, High school, yeah, I was kind of, I, I, I wasn't a rebel by any stretch, but I was, um, just didn't care. Just that, you know, I was a, I played music, I was a, I, I was a drummer, I started playing drums when I was 12 or 13. Um, um, I, I was really big into baseball and football and music. But not grades. I just didn't care about grades. So, I had a fake ID, which was also kind of, and so one day I was talking, this is important, I'm going to say this, because I think it's really good to know that like a lot of the people, we, we have, we change, like people change, you know what I mean? I found out that if I applied to college, which I was never going to apply to college, my mother said, yeah, there's no, I, I never go to college, oh my God, please, but I found out that if I just applied I could get a day off school, so I put my golf clubs on the back of my on my back and got on my motorcycle and went out and applied to the University of Toledo, and it took me about 15 minutes. And then I played a round of golf, right, and then hung out at the 19th hole and stuff like that, right. So that's like how I live my life. So, dude, do you know what the 19th hole is? Do you know? Do you know what it is? Do you, bro? Who knows what the 19th hole is? Dude, all right, you got it. It's the, it's the bar in the clubhouse, right? You'd play 19 holes of golf, right? Because the 19th one, that's the one that takes the longest. You go hang out there. Anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, what was I talking about? Uh, okay, oh, anyway, so I got in, right? And, and so two and a half years later, college was really pretty inexpensive back in the day. Two and a half years later, I was still a freshman because I kept dropping classes. I would start with like 16 credits and end up with one. Um, I, you know, whatever. It didn't matter, right? Because I wasn't really into it. I wanted to be a rock and roll star, which obviously didn't happen. And so, um, but one day in my third year, I transferred to a community college. And I was just going to get like this business management degree because I'm like, ah, whatever, I'll just try to do that. And I dropped three classes. I just stopped going. And I was on my fourth one and I stopped. I was uh, really getting, I, I, instead of going to class, I went to the library.
yourself conservative. I'm going to push you toward liberalism. So you have to wrestle with that. And then this, you know, come on, man. Like, I don't know anything about the world. And I'm, I'm old. I don't know anything. Like, how can you, unless you're old too, like, how do you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe, but uh, maybe you know me. By the way, I graduated. When I took the SATs, I scored in the 51st percentile. So I am above average. <laughs> so keep that in mind. All right. Uh, okay, so my job to confuse you. Okay, that's education. All right, dude, next. Uh, go with the next slide. Let's see what that is. All right, let, let me, I'll come back to some things about this and about the class. Um, all the readings are free. They're on the website. They're free. They're either readings or videos. The last time we had a book, it cost $70. With all these people in class, that comes to about $53,500. That's how much money y'all are not spending just because we decide to make it free. Yo. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to hit you up for that, though, right? So, uh, yeah, like, there's no need for that. You spend enough money here, right? And, damn. Okay, next one. Um, dude, I forgot. Hey, can you get your phones out real fast? Dude. man can you send it okay here's what this is this is a texting system i can send the text the system is completely private it allows me to send you a text you can't see anybody else in class you can't send anyone texts nobody can spam you but if something happens and it's like you know three o'clock and class is canceled or something i have no idea it will never be canceled but something happens and i'm like hey the air conditioner isn't working really so if you send RTFO, at RTFO to 81010, then you will be on the system. Text the fastest way to connect with you. I can send you an email, but mostly you don't check emails. This is the fastest way. You know what that stands for? RTFO? Okay. Do you know what it stands for? Oh my God. Bro, you know what it stands for, right? Right. All right. That's where we're at. Remember. Uh, assignments. All right. This is very much an attendance based class. And you have to go to your discussion groups. Like, you have to. That's, it's attendance based. You, you have to come. When you miss even a few classes, yo, yo, your, your grade very quickly go south, like really fast, like really fast. I'll encourage you to look at the syllabus, but you just come to class, okay? If you have something going on in your life and you're like, oh man, this is going to be a real problem because whatever, um, talk, talk to Lauren. I'm going to introduce Lauren in a hot minute, but uh, it's attendance base. So just remember, Social 119, you come to class, your discussion group and lecture class, Okay. Two, uh, we have this Haiti Brazil service project. So in your groups, we're not going to talk about it today. In your groups, you'll be raising money for a project in Haiti and a project in Brazil, separate ones. We split the money. Um, it's a cool, it's really cool in your groups. We started, to, I'll explain it later. It doesn't really matter at this point, but it's a really uh, discussion groups. They start next week. This, these are the groups that meet in Pond Lab. Okay, so... Um, that means don't go to, you have, everyone has on their schedule uh, a one, at some point during the week, a 50 minute or a 70 minute that this week. It starts, this is where you need to be on. Which, okay, video response assignment, Twitter assignment. Uh, you, so there are two main assignments in the class like that you do every week. It's really hardcore. We cut it, we cut it off at 11.59 on Sundays. It's, you, you just, you don't turn them in late. This isn't, it's not possible. You just don't. You can miss one 
at some point in the semester, so if you're, you know, you just don't get to it or whatever, you forget or whatever the case is, it's fine. You get to miss one. But otherwise, they're really pretty easy assignments, but you have to do it and you can't turn them late and that's just the way it is. And they start in a, in a few weeks, okay? We'll, we'll, you'll, and so that's the video response assignment. You're responding to videos in the class. We'll, we'll get to it later. I'm not going to explain it right now because you're not going to remember anything at all. So Twitter assignment and then tweets. Three, you do three tweets a week. We call it fresh eyes. And where you have to, you, throughout the week, the, the, the goal is for you to see something that you only see or mostly see because of this class, because of your discussion group or the class or the readings or something, right, that, that has come up at some point in the semester. And then you, you tweet it. It's called like fresh eyes. You see it with fresh eyes because of what the kinds of things we're talking about. And so then you, you put some media in that and you kick it out. And we'll talk about that later. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, grades. Listen, man, this is a contract grading class. Okay? Um, and here's, here's how we work. Uh, I don't know if it's 290 points, but look, it's contract grading. Half of you, you basically get the grade you want to get. So... Um, if you do the work, you come to class, you do what you're supposed to do, you're basically going to get a good grade. Half, half of you will end up with A's or A-minuses because you're going to do the work. And the quizzes are really not difficult if you do the readings and watch the videos. It's going to be like six hours of work per quiz. But if you don't do it, you'll be guessing. Trust me, you will be guessing. There's no way you will do well on the quizzes if you don't read it or watch the videos. And I'm not talking about underlining and all that stuff. It's actually really simple but you'll be guessing. Okay, cool, dude. It's, so it's, it's a really easy class. Because it's easy, the grading scale, you have to get a lot of points to get an A. And we go by points and not percentages. We never ever think percentage. The only time you're ever gonna see percent is on this slide right here, where I'm like, yeah, 95.9.5% is like a B plus. Because it is. And if you end up with a B plus, what I want you to remember is that half the class got A's. So it's not that difficult. You, it's not about the percent. You understand? Can I, like, can, I, can, I, can I please walk you? You know how in a science class you can take like O-chem and they have to curve it because the average grade is like 46%. And you don't all flunk O-chem because they curve it down, Right? And nobody complains about that. You got that? Because you curve. Because it's not about the percent, you all. It's about, it's not the grade scale. 95% is a B plus. Just like in OCHEM, 72% would be a B plus. Because the exams are so hard. Everything's so difficult. Here, everything's so easy, we curve up. So you got to get a lot of points to get an A. And most people do. So, oh... God, oh, I had a mother call me last semester. Re f oh, hang on a second. Lauren, dude, you, you got to help me with this. Okay, come on. This is Lauren, by the way. Lauren, Lauren is, uh, so <laughs> dude, Lauren is really runs the class, okay? Lauren, say hello to the class. Hi. All right. <laughs> she withholds. You know why? Because she runs the class. All I do is stand up here and do what I do. She sits in the back. She runs everything. She's the one you're emailing. She writes the syllabus. She knows what's going on. I don't know what to do. Do I know what's going on? No. He really don't. He don't do shit, but I do everything. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He teaches y'all. That's it. I really don't. I don't know what it is. I, I look at this. I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, but Lauren does. So if you have questions, you got to go to her. You come to me and I'll be, I don't know. Like, ask Lauren. Okay. Dude, so remember the mother that emailed us? Dude, did you, you got that? Did I even send it? No, I didn't. Send, I don't think I sent it to you because I was afraid you were going to respond to her. Did you see it? Oh, man. Wait, can you just say what some of the emails we get at the end of the semester are like? What they say? My dog died. Um, no, about the grading scale. About how, 
Yeah, <laughs> not that. We don't care about dead dogs, right? Actually, we do. If your dog dies, yeah, that's different, man, because dogs are dogs. Lauren doesn't care. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Lauren doesn't like dogs, so don't be telling her your dog died. The only time you can come up with an excuse is tell me your dog died or something, and then I'll be like, all right, you're all good. Don't tell Lauren, though. All right, what else? Tell, what else are some things that people say? Um, don't email me about grades like, oh, on Canvas, I have a 97%, but my final grade's a D. Read the syllabus. That's what I'm going to tell you. But, I'm like, I'm real cool, so, like, I don't really care about much. It's my senior year, so I don't give a fuck. No. It, <laughs> dude, that's... A, that, okay, you drop one F bomb. You can only do one now. Oh, no, you get one more. We're gonna need one more. All right. I get one. Look, I get one per class. Lauren gets one per class. Well, whatever. You get you get two for the semester. All right. What else? What do they say though, dude? It's like, dude. Oh, hang on. We're gonna. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is Lauren. This is Lauren and I reading emails right to each other. We're just like we read emails and then we just look at each other and go. Yeah, we talk about y'all. We screenshot them. We send them to each other. We talk about y'all, so. Just the, dude, can you get a close-up of my face? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> keep, keep, give him the face that you make all the time. All right. No, 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 right there, right there. You're in that one. Uh. <laughs> exactly. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You ready? Can I, is anybody that does voices, anybody can do a really interesting voice? Like, like any, like a really inter, could be anything. I don't know. It could be, who can do a really interesting, dude, what's your voice, dude? What voice? You can do Donald Trump? Oh, dude, come on. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Trump? Come on up. Come on up, dog. Dude, the Trump is in the house. Oh, my God. Okay, listen. What's your name? My name's Jay. Wait, you got to talk right into the mic. My name's Jay. Hello. What, 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 in what year are you? What I'm a sophomore. And you do Donald Trump. Yes, I do uh, the best Donald Trump. Oh, dude. So what you're going to do is, these are questions. These are things that Lauren gets every semester, and you're going to read them like Donald Trump. And Lauren and I are going to respond. All right. You talk right into the mic, too, so it's really loud. I missed class today because I was sick. To whom do I give my excuse? Dude. Can you respond to that? Dude, that was very... By the way, I'm impressed. Oh. Nice. All right. Do you want to respond to that or do you want me to? Go ahead. Uh, there is no excuse, dude. No excused absences. Oh, Zero God. for anything whatsoever. Next Fake one. News. You get to miss two classes. How many classes do you get to miss? Two lectures. One group, two lectures. After that, we start taking points off. Doesn't matter. Next one, dude. Donald. I had to go home to have my wisdom teeth removed. I'm not going to lose points for a bad eye, am I? Yeah, you are. What? <laughs> Did You're you fired. Die? Are you... <laughs> Are you dead? I think I'm still alive. Okay, then you now. If you die, we'll give you the points. If you don't die, you don't get points for anything. Next one. Challenge dude. accepted. Right, next one. Okay. Next one, Mel. This class is too hard. <laughs> the fuck? Honestly, this is probably one of the easiest classes y'all will take as long as y'all do your assignments and do your readings for your work, man. It's so easy. Even Lauren got, you got an A. Even you got an A. Dude, even Lauren got an A. You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> just saying. All right. It's not hard, dude. Donald, go ahead. Next one. It's university policy that 91 to 100% is an A. No, it's not. Get lost. Next one. <laughs> it's not, you know, Donald, it is not university policy, period. Go on. I'll change that. I have an 89% in this class. That should be a B plus, but according to your grading scale, it's a B minus. That's not fair. <laughs> Do you want to respond to that one? I'm just going to tell you to refer to the syllabus and have a nice day. Dude, hang on, hang on, hang on. C can you come up here? Get, do a close-up of your... Do the... Do the that, you're going to get that so many times, okay? 
do like the, that black female thing. <laughs> do it again, right into there, dude. Do like, okay, give it. Do, uh, I'm not that dude. black female he's trying to stereotype. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Dude, you're throwing me under the bus, dog. See, like, do it again, just go for it, right into that camera. Yeah, exactly. Good enough. All right, dog. <laughs> my computer crashed right before I uploaded my video response assignments. Can I turn them in late? No. Why not? <laughs> that's, that's so dead. Like, <laughs> read you the can't. syllabus. Read the syllabus, dude. You syllabus. can't. Go ahead. Next one. I have to go to an event that is required for another class, and it starts at 545 on Thursday. I need to leave an extra 15 minutes early. Is Dude, that okay? You can leave an extra 15 minutes early, and Lauren is going to explain what you have to do. So if you leave 15 minutes early, you have to come see me at the top of the classroom with your student ID, and you lose points for that day. So you won't get full attendance credit. I have to show her your student ID. Want to know why? Donald, you want to know why? You would have to show her your student ID. Why do I have to do that? Dude. Can you tell them the, the stories? How many stories do we have of, of lying, cheating people? I have people tell me that they're not in the class, but y'all don't know. I can actually see all faces on your images, so I could just look you up real quick. Yeah, and I'll and give you no points for people the People lie, day. dude. They like, give the wrong name. Like, I'll go up like, oh, my name's John Jones, and then like, we'll leave. And like, people lie. It's unbelievable. Dudes, it's, you're going to die. You know what I mean? You're going to die. It's a stupid grade in a single class. You're going to be dead. It doesn't matter. Oh, my God. I got, I'm going to get an A- minus and not an A. My whole life is going to fall apart. Fuck. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who cares? The, the lie, you can't believe how often people lie. And so, yeah, you got to show her your ID. I'm not talking about, like, one person. I'm talking about, like, all semester long. It's like, we're not, just don't do that. Come on, man. God, next one, Donald. I sent Sam an email and he didn't respond. I told you he don't do shit. I do everything. He, like, he really doesn't answer your emails. He forwards them to me. They all go to Lauren, man. If you send me an email, I, get, I don't get it. Next one, bro. I got in an accident on the way to my places. Can I be excused? <laughs> no, you really can't. Did you die? Uh, exactly. No, died. you can't be excused. Any more? Can you tell me my grade so far? I got an 85% on the first two quizzes. Oh, God. Two quizzes. Do you want to explain how much quizzes are worth versus the rest of the class, or you want me to, Doug? No, because I really don't know. Dude, quizzes are worth like one-third. The quiz points are worth like one-third of the total points for the class. So you can ace the quiz, but that doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? If you haven't done all your other work, you can get 30 out of 30 on all three quizzes, but if you haven't done anything else, you're going to flunk. Okay, remember that. Cool? All right, dude. That's it. That's it? Thanks, Don. Appreciate it. Donald? Hey, you did, you did a nice job, by the way. Try best. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram, Jay's a goat. Yeah. <laughs> anything else to say? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll talk about that next class. Yeah. All right, that's it. Lauren sits at the top, though, if you have any questions. If you want to... Uh, oh, listen, man. We have this really cool opportunity for international students. If you want... It's a dialogue opportunity. Um, you can come talk to us after class, okay? Sal will be here at the end of class. I'll introduce you to Sal. Um, but if you are an international student, it's, it's a, you get three credits to do this, and it's probably the easiest three credits you'll do in college, I'm just saying, aside from this class, except it's four credits. So uh, if you want to learn about it, make sure you stay after class, okay? You have to be an international student, meaning like you have to not have gone to high school here. All right, next slide. And okay, so I'm going to say a couple of things, then we're going to do an activity. Um, so if you have, I'm white, okay? I'm actually, uh, I'm, you know, and I say that because, like, I, rec I recognize that I'm white. Now, hang on. Why, I, why do I say that? Uh, 
Okay, we're going to talk about race, and there's a lot of contention about race. And, you know, people, yeah, it's hard, right? If you're white people, oh, God, I don't even know where to start. Oh, my God. We, okay, first off, we're not going to beat up on white people in this class. Um, a lot of white people are going to think we're beating up on white people, or some of you might, but we're not, right? We're, we're definitely not. I don't, I don't think it's... I don't have a need to beat up on white people. I like white people. I'm white. My wife's white. I I have white family members. Uh, I have white friends. I'm like, some of you are white. We don't need to do that. So it's not a race class where we're going to talk about all the ways in which white people suck and which white white racism and white supremacy and white this and white that. We're going to talk about that stuff within particular context, but that's not what this class is. Um, And... I am white, and I recognize that I'm white, but I'm also really comfortable being white, and I'm comfortable being a man, meaning that I recognize what it means for me to be a man. Uh, and, and so I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not, I, don't, I don't have any reason to, like, I don't have this, like, liberal thing where I'm going to just, like, I need to pretend that I'm a cool sensitive man and cooler than what I am and whatever like I'm a cool white guy because I get this stuff and like I don't need I don't need to do that I don't do that I don't care about that um and and I say that so white people um well you're all different first off some of you have no experience with these issues. Some of you have some experience. Some of you have lots and lots of experience. Some of you date outside your race. Some of you never do or never have and probably never will and all sorts of things, right? So we're all really different, but um, you're all going to get challenged in different ways. Those of you who are black and who are brown, right? And I, there's no way to categorize everyone. Like, what do you say, right? People of color, black, brown, like, I don't know. You all have different experiences too. Some of you are really rich. Some of you are really poor. Some of you are, grew up in a white community, some in a brown community, some in a black community, some like, I don't know, it's just like all over the place, right? There's nothing I can say about you all, except I will say the following. I am really comfortable challenging people who are not white, to have to think about some fundamental contradictions in things that are just stated and said and accepted by people in the black and brown community as just truths out there that are not truths, just like it is. And a lot of white people are not comfortable challenging, are not comfortable saying stuff about, nah, man, come on, that's racist or that's ignorant or that's whatever it is, right? Because a lot of white people don't know how to do that or just whatever, aren't comfortable. I'm really comfortable. Maybe I'm wrong or maybe I'm this or maybe I'm that, but I'm going to do it and I'm, and I'm comfortable. So everyone's going to get challenged in here. Is that cool? So there, it's highly political. All this stuff is really political and we're going to sort through it. And I'm hopefully going to give you just some, or you, you will, I won't give them to you, but you'll develop some tools to really talk about things in a, in a more open way. So one thing you'll get from me is, um, I'm just comfortable talking about stuff. And so I want to get you comfortable talking. Because if we don't talk about stuff, then we don't go anywhere. Right? You know what I mean? Talk. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The, the politics? God. It's crazy sometimes. Um... Yeah. Ah, God, I have so much I want to say right now, but I'm not. Um, what, let's do an activity. And here's the activity. I need someone, I need a volunteer. We're going to do volunteers in here, a lot of volunteering. So you're, you're going to, uh, you, you know, you're going to need to sign off a waiver to be on the live stream. We'll send that out to you, but um, need a lot of volunteers. When I ask for volunteers, it's really, one thing is really, really important. I'm never, ever, ever going to intentionally make somebody or put someone in a position to make them look silly, stupid, or ignorant. Never going to do that. I, do, I, do, I wouldn't want it to happen to me. Dude, I look silly. I, I look silly and ignorant and stupid enough. I'm not going to do that on somebody else. And so I never do that. 
it, it may just accidentally happen that, I don't know, somebody says something, but uh, we'll, work, we'll work with it. And it is not about bringing people up to the front and then you all jump on Twitter and start being all snarky, like, oh, yeah, that really ignorant Chinese dude or whatever it is. Like, I, no, we're not, we're not doing that. That's not what the volunteering is. The volunteering is we come up and we engage and we do something, okay? So when I ask for volunteers, it's like, okay, here's an opportunity to come and do something. So it's never, ever to put somebody in a position where they look a certain way. Okay, are we cool on that? So as it stands, I need a volunteer, somebody who really just got to Penn State, ideally an international student who's a freshman who just got to the United States for the first time or someone who came to the U.S. for the first time just really this past week. Is there anybody in here? It's probably not likely because I don't have many freshmen in here. Wait, we have one? Dude, can Okay, come on up. Oh, my gosh. I'll, I, I will need to at some point. Here, I'll just take it. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here, talk right into the mic. What's your name? Uh, si Han. Whoa, whoa, hang on. And wait, by the way, also, I have tinnitus. So, like, if I'm asking people, when I ask people to, like, m pronounce their name again and again and again, it's because I have tinnitus. If I were, if the, the speakers weren't on, I could really hear it. But it's from playing drums. If you have tinnitus, it's from playing drums. I, my ears. Wait, say it again. Su Han. Su Han. Han. Right. Dude, it's not right. I totally butchered it. And, you know, I know that. <laughs> say, say, I'm going to try it again. Say it again. Su Su Han Han Su Su Han Han <laughs> Okay, wait, hey, say my name. Uh, hey, S Sam. Sam. <laughs> no, talk right into the mic. Sam. No, not quite. Try it again. <laughs> Dude, my name's easy compared to her name, you know what I mean? So if I can get her to butcher my name, I'll feel better about myself. Wait, say it again. Talk right into the mic. Oh, you mean my name. S say, say, no, my name. Sam. 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 Say my last name. Uh. <laughs> Richards. Richards. I'll say it again. Richards. No. <laughs> no, but you're close. You're closer than I probably am with your name. So do you, so you're Chinese? Yes. Where are you from in China? Uh, it's Hunan. It's oh, Hunan? close to Guangdong. Yeah, like okay. South. Got it. So here's what I want you to do. So you go by Han. Your last name is Han. No, no, no. My last oh, your name. Last name. <laughs> My last name is Liu. Liu? Yeah. Liu. 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 Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, dude, come here a minute. I know you're looking at me like I have no idea what's going on. So you pronounce your name. Go ahead. Here's the mic. What's your name? Uh, Malachi Jones. What is it? Malachi? Ma Malachi. Malachi? Yeah. Can you say his name? Malachi. His last name? Uh, Jones. Jones. Good. Nice. All right. Go ahead. Say her name. What was your name again? <laughs> Su Han. Su Han? Su Han. Su Han? With the S. Su. Su. Right. Han. Han. Su Han. Su Han. No. Si Han. Si Han. <laughs> right. He probably he probably just said something really awful. What did he just say? <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Okay. That's not okay. Say it again. Su Han. Right. Okay. Who said it? Su Han. <laughs> Su Han. Who did it better? Uh. Uh. Oh, you think yeah. I did? Yeah. Sorry, dog. Okay. Okay. Malachi, next, Malachi. next time. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go around the class, and I want you to find someone who's really, really, really multicultural. They speak many languages. They um, are really comfortable with people. Like if I brought them up, they'd be really comfortable. They might even know how to speak uh, with the, like a, a dialect. Um, uh, Mandarin dialect or Cantonese. It's Mandarin, uh -huh. right? It's yeah. in the South, so it's, it's Mandarin. Okay, so 
um, who's like really could be in like, you know, Brooklyn. I just are cool. They're just like, they get it. They're like multicultural. They, you know what I mean? You know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. They're international, the whole nine yards. So I want you to find someone in class. Right now? Yeah, right now. So walk around, find somebody. How would I know? Like, Dude, you just look. Come on, look, dog. Like I know. Look at them? Yeah, just look. How would you know? Tell me what you're looking for. Um, what would you look for? What are you going to look for? Like, look at someone. her right there, dog. <laughs> it's not her. Are you? No, no, she's not. You can't ask. What, you know, what are you going to look for? Um, like, someone seems to be. Talk right into the mic. Someone seems to be multicultural. Yeah, exactly. What are you looking for? Uh, like, um, like they're not going to be wearing this T-shirt, for no. example. No. Uh, um, like someone. Um, someone what? You get check out here. I think multicultural people are might be in the top half, though. Okay. What are you looking for, dude? I see somebody already, man. Totally. Um, Suhan. <laughs> like really down, man. Like they're not, they are not from like Carlisle, PA, or Belfonte, PA. Dude, look at that. Like, look at I see a couple possibilities. Yeah. Cool. I'm not cool. telling you, dog. You look for um, Somebody gives me a little hint. <laughs> well, you could look at the shoes, for one. You can't see a lot of shoes, but... Wait, hang on. Mm. Hang on. Close, close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. <laughs> if, you, if you fit... No, you got to keep your eyes closed. If you fit this category, if you'd be like, yeah, man, I'm like kind of a hipster, grew up in the city, I'm like cool, I'm chill, I'm this, I'm that... I know the difference between a Manhattan and a Martini, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? I know, like, got that. Keep your eyes closed. Raise your hand if you would say, yeah, I'm one of these, those people. Damn, seriously? Dude, you're really close. Okay, you're really close. Go ahead. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Okay. Oh, Grab sorry. Somebody. We're just going to go with the front row right here. Front row? Um, uh, You're burning. You're so close. Hi. That guy? Dude, that guy is not... Wait, are you like speaking Chinese under your breath to that guy? <laughs> like, hey, dude, I, come on, somebody hook me up here. Some other Chinese people. Like, come on. You're Vietnamese? Ah, same thing, dog. Right here. Come on. All Asians, y'all look alike. Come on, seriously. Dude, stand up real fast. Stand up. Seriously. What? Black people. Wait. Do, do you two. Do they? Hang on. Stand, stand right next to her. No, stand next to her. But in this direction. Can you put her on the... Look into that camera. Stand right next to her. Do they? Dude, seriously. Don't they look the same, really? Take your glasses off, bro. Take your glasses off real fast. Don't they? Do they not look the same? No. <laughs> All right, dude. Vietnamese. Sorry, man. My bad. <laughs> dude, we're going to talk a lot about that, by the way. So we'll have, a lot of, we'll have a lot of fun with that. All right, pick somebody out. Not him. Front row? Yeah, whatever. Anybody. Um... How would I know? Um, you got 15 seconds. Oh. Um, but like, how, how could you know that? Like, how do you know? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Okay, dude. So these two raised their hand. Are you sisters? No. Damn, mom. <laughs> the white guy. Like, most white people would be like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Dude, seriously, hang on a second. Dude, 
I was just joking about you looking like him, okay? I'm just playing with that. But come on, man, you can Can you get it? <laughs> Dude, would you... Well, look, I'm looking at your hair first off, right? So I got... No, I get... I get... You can be friends. Are you seriously? Dude, hang on. I need a, I need a black person to help me out here. Dude, can you help me out? Dude, look at you. Dude, look, would you... No, hang on. Stay on them. Stay on them real fast. Stay on the, the two of them. Would you... No, come on. Dude, would you... Could, could, is it understandable I would confuse them as sisters? It's because you're white. Oh. <laughs> like, no, come on. Go, come on, seriously. Yeah. I just looked at them really fast. They both raised their hands together. Wait, go back to them. Dude. They don't look the same to me. They no, I know the they don't look the style. same. No, sisters don't look the same, but I'm like, though. yeah, but... They just have the same hairstyle, and they're both black. So, I mean, I see it, but no. Dude, I would never look at your, like, at your face and be like, oh, no, but you're a sister of one of them. Like, I wouldn't, because you look totally different. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, what's your name, by the way? Tatiana. Tatiana? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, but I live in New Jersey. Oh, dude. Maybe. Yeah. Are you multicultural? Oh, you're Guyanese? Dude, see that? You missed one. But we're going to pick one of you because they both raise their hand. So, hang on. So, what's your name? My name is Kaya. What is it? Kaya. Kaya? Yes. Dude, your name? Brianna. Brianna? Kaya, Brianna. Come on. Whatever. All right, so where are you from? New York. From New York? I'm from New York. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Hang on, just a sec. Do you happen to live on the same street in the same house? No. All right. Okay, I need, I need one, just one of you. Okay, just one of you. Whoever wants to volunteer now. Yeah, you got to get up. Who wants to do it? Who's the most multicultural? Who's like the most hip of the two of you? I don't know. We met like five minutes ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, dog. All right, then you. It's you. You have the mic. Okay, so listen. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. You ready? Okay. So wait, what makes you, you raised your hand to be like multicultural. What, what, like, what did you, like what about you would you say, when I say multicultural and really hip and so on and so forth. Like, I mean, you said you knows the difference between the city and a martini. I kind of knew what that was. But um, I don't know, everybody's different. I okay. feel like anybody could classify in that category. In a mm -hmm. Sense. Mm -hmm. um, like me, you are different. And I would consider like, like they have like categories and like me would be in a different category, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like I'm from New York. Somebody could be from the South. That's still kind of different. Uh huh. Um, have you traveled? Yeah. Where to? Um, I go on cruises a lot. So I travel through the islands. I've been to England. Um, I haven't been like, you know, Australia side, but like um, Europe, all the islands, South uh -huh. America. Got yeah, it. And you know the difference between a Manhattan and a Martini? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, like that's sort of basic. Okay, I got it. Um, okay, so here's what I want you to do. You ready? Okay. I want you to pick out somebody who knows how to skin a deer. Skin a deer? Yep. <laughs> and it might not be a white person. Just want to let you know. Like a, but it might be, a, you know, a redneck. Black people can be rednecks. <laughs> First off, what are you gonna? What are you looking for? Um, I don't know their facial expression. Like they seem like they could. Well, no, go ahead. What, what are you? What are you gonna look for? Skin a deer. Um, I don't know. Like Not like that guy. This guy couldn't. He couldn't skin a deer to save his life, for sure. What are you gonna look for, dude? I don't know. Usually, like somebody has a confident face, like when you ask the question. Dude, a confident face <laughs> to like skin a deer. Yes. Dude, no, they like, need to be wearing. Uh, come on, like camouflage. Have like a knife on their side. No, like. What are you gonna look for? Skin a deer. It's someone who's hunts. Someone who's really into the outdoors. Someone like. I know, but this is class, so you know, somebody who's skin a deer is not gonna dress like that to come here. I don't know, but okay, then you gotta find them, dude. Um, Wait, hang on. Can you close your eyes? Okay. Dude, who knows how to skin a deer? Oh, yeah. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, damn, dog, there's a lot of people in here. And they're not just men either, by the way. Okay, go ahead. 
Wow. Okay. Um, we got about 30 seconds, so walk around and just look. Look. Do you in the book? No. <laughs> Which one? Who are you looking uh, at? Send uh, the shirt up there. To her? I don't know because you. <laughs> Dude. Um. What about her up there, right there? Oh. Yeah, yeah, covering her face. Covering her face? Her? Her. Dude, stand up real fast. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, just stand up real fast. Yeah, no, you. Know, yeah. No, I was talking no. about her. Yeah, the dark with the hair and a bun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just stand up. Let's just see. No, stand up real fast. Did she? You think so? I don't know. It's like just the way they're acting. You might no, you can't go with the way they're acting, dude. You, you got to go. by the way they look. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, him. Who? In the green jacket. The guy in the green jacket? Oh. Dude, can you stand up real fast, though? Nah, dude, come on. He's like a frat boy. You know what I mean? That guy, like, all he does is, is you know, keg stands and stuff. Here, come down here. Um, dude. Hang on. Dude, what? Seriously. What about you? Which no? one? Yeah. Yeah. That guy? No. That dude? I said the girl. The girl? Which one? Right here. Her? Yeah. With and the, the blonde hair? Yeah. She looks like, stand up. I don't know, it's just like the dude, black, what's wrong with black people, man? Like, come on. <laughs> Sit, her? Dude, she couldn't, she can't even skin a chicken, a chicken breast. Come on, man. <laughs> no. You're so close, though, dude. There's a woman very close to her who knows how to skin a deer. No. Her? I don't know how to do this. Um. So here's what's interesting, right? You know, you know why we're doing this, right? Because um, it's just kind of interesting. Like in the way of in the way of race relations, when you come into a class like this, the goal is like that white people don't know anything, and black and brown people sort of know everything, right? And the and the thing is, I'm gonna play with stuff because it's on the first day, so I'm gonna play. Like I'm gonna be like, yeah, you guys. I did look. I I just I looked at the at the gold in your hair, so I just thought, okay, I didn't even hardly, I didn't really even look at your faces, so it doesn't really matter. And we do faces. We're gonna talk about faces in here. Although you have very dudes, um, we're gonna, we'll come back to it though. So, uh, but the idea is like, yeah, the way we run is that white people don't really have a sense of these things. Hang on, I'll just talk into here so the people in the front can see. So we have this sense that white people um, don't know anything and like all, like black and brown people are more likely to be multicultural and be hip and you're from the city, oh, you're from New York, so you know everything. But dude, most of the United States is actually living in, not in cities and like that. And so people know things. A huge segment of the population knows how to skin deer and, know, and they hunt and they do all sorts of things and they fish. And like that's never seeing that or having those skills or being able to ascertain that or identify those people never somehow seems to be as valuable as being hip and multicultural, right? So it's like, oh, those rednecks or whatever. So it's like, you don't, what would, what are you, what would you even look at? What are you looking at? Oh, just like people who are hiding you don't get no, you can't. No, you got to look at their clothes. You, the, the, so you don't even know what to look for. No. Okay, so here, hang on a second. So you know how to skin a deer, right? Can you come down real fast? So she knows how to skin a deer, okay? You wouldn't guess her, right? No. Now, here's what I want you to do. What, what's your name? Riley. Riley? Yeah. Have you skinned a deer? Kind of. Like with, uh, with, with other people? Yeah. Yeah? Have you, sh have you shot a deer? Yeah. You have? Yeah killed it yeah dude what's its name bambi <laughs> seriously where at like erie erie yeah okay so with a gun or a bow a gun yeah yeah dude seriously like do you have any questions for her she killed a deer with a gun <laughs> you gotta have a question for her i don't you don't have a question no dude do you have a question for her because she killed a deer with a gun. Bro, do you have a question? How about the frat guy over there? Do you have a question, bro? <laughs> like, come on. You got, do you have a question? Someone's got, can I ask? I have a question. How was that to take the life of a deer? Well, I mean, no, talk right into the mic. I mean, I don't, my family, we don't like hunt for sport. We actually like use the meat. Yeah, you stuff, use the meat. So. Yep. 
if it was just for sport, I would have felt bad, but because we're actually using it. For so you it. ate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and so how was it, though, to take its life I and, mean, to, and then skin it and eat it? I mean, it's weird because you're, like, taking a life still, but... Because, like, I'm an animal person, so the, it was scary. <laughs> Do you have a question now? Do you eat meat? Yes. Dude, have you ever killed an animal and ate it? No. Seriously? So what do you do? You go to the store and you, like, just go and you find meat and cellophane packages and then you pick it out and you take it home and you grill it and you eat it? Yeah. Dude, that's kind of... It's kind of common. Do you have a yeah. question for her? Like, she's never killed an animal. <laughs> I don't know. It's common in New York. Go to the grocery Dude, store. Dude, it's common everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... Isn't it just kind of interesting? Like you actually took the light. You eat meat. Yeah. And you actually took responsibility. Here, just check this out for a second. So what's your name again? Riley. Riley. So Riley actually eats meat, meaning eats the, 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 you know, the muscle and the fat of other beings, sentient beings, right? Because a deer is alive. A deer is very aware. She does that as you do it and I do it. But she actually took the life of the animal as opposed to let some slaughterhouse or some factory farm or somewhere else do it where maybe the animal is even, you know, uh, suffering or whatever the case is. Like, we don't even know. The, I'm, I'm going to pose a question. Do you think that if you eat meat, maybe we, we should kind of take responsibility to actually have to kill an animal once in a while? No. Why not? Because I don't want to see that. Um, everybody if, has jobs, though. So, you know... <laughs> Everybody has a job, so Everybody other people... Everybody has a job, you know, specialized jobs, stuff like that. Each person has something else to do. One person may... What, I want to come back to you, right? I, I have this idea that um, taking the life of other beings to eat them is... If you eat other beings, then it's probably a good idea to, at some point in life, to do what you have done, is take the life of a being. You know, like I've done it. I've killed animals to eat them, right? I had rabbit stew one time and I took two rabbits and I twisted their necks and then skinned them because like I was going to eat the rabbits. So it's like if I'm going to eat the rabbits, I should kill the rabbits. R am I right? So you're going to eat a chicken, you should kill the chicken at some point. So anyway, it's kind of an interesting thought that like, th anyway, she can skin a deer. <laughs> yep. Just saying. Thanks, man. Next time you eat meat, think about the fact that you could still have an opportunity. If you go home with Riley, you could actually kill an animal <laughs> and eat it. If I said to pick somebody in here who knows how to skin a deer, do you think you could pick somebody out? I don't know. You don't know? Probably not. Probably not? I don't know. Yeah? All right, maybe we'll come back to it. Thanks, man. Yo. How many deer have you killed? Just two? Yeah. Where'd you shoot them? Like in the neck? Yeah? Did they die right away? Yeah? yeah. So you're a good shot. You got them. <laughs> my, like, my initial, like, nuclear family doesn't hunt, but my uncles do. So yeah? they teach me and my cousins how to hunt. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yep, all right. Cool. Um, dude, I say, look, here, hang on a second. If you're a vegetarian and you think, you're like, okay, hang on, it's really uncool to eat meat, that's cool too, like, great. Um, yeah, don't eat meat. But if you do eat meat, I think that probably maybe it says something about actually killing the animals that you eat. You know what I mean? Why leave it up to somebody else? Like, why maybe we should do that? Um, yeah. Okay, so listen. Um, Today we're just kind of just having, like, just doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And, by the way, in the, and I'm, I'm playing with a lot. Well, hang on. By the way, we don't leave until 10 till. We absolutely never leave till 10 till. So it just doesn't happen. So today I'm just pl playing with a few ideas just to get us comfortable talking about some things. Who has a, who has a question that they want to ask about the class or me or whatever the case is? Who, who's got a question? Yes, ma'am. How do we take attendance? We pass attendance sheets around. So we'll start on Tuesday. Yeah. Make sure your signatures are like similar. Because if yeah. you do like your initials one day and a signature the next, 
that we can't like connect the two and you will you'll lose points. Oh wait, by the way, this is Jeff. And Jeff runs is runs all the technology and the live stream. He's like the uh, what? Nope. the dude who keeps everything going, man. Yes, ma'am. What are you holding? What am I holding? Yeah. They're prayer beads. They're Muslim prayer beads. I got from my friend Bassam, who you will meet at some point in time. Yep, they keep me grounded. Yep. Have you considered using clickers for attendance? Nah, I have. We used to use clickers, and I got tired of people not having their clickers. It was, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll tell you, talk to me after class. I'll give you nightmares. Yes, yeah, somebody else. Who's got, who's got another question But anything? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, I talked to Lauren about, yeah. Yes. Um, how are you going to know that we were tweeting? How are we going to know? Yeah, like how are you going to link our Twitter accounts to our, like, our Yeah, Canvas? what we're going to do is you're going to screenshot your tweets and drop them in Canvas. It's pretty fast. If you don't know how to screenshot, you'll learn really fast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all that's on, and by the way, all that's on the syllabus. The syllabus will be available in a second. Sal, where are you at? Um, remember, th this is Sal. And if you are inter if you're an international student and you're interested in the class, and you're interested in the, uh, see Lauren, I touch his shoulder too, dog. Just saying. <laughs> if you're inter if you're an international international student, you're interested in that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Talk to Sal right after class. Yes, please. Any international students, uh, talk to me or Drew right there. He's gonna be Drew. helping me. So Drew, stand up real fast. And this is Drew. Yeah, and talk to them over here in this in this corner. Yep, so it's right out of the way. Uh, listen, so here's where we're at in this class. Um, next class, we'll, we'll, this, today is just sort of like an introduction. We will take off and do some things, and we'll see how we go. By the way, you're all very quiet, man. It's a very quiet group. Gosh. Okay. Um, we will see you. Yo, international students, come down.